Hi guys, let's see how to calculate the number of modules in series in a string and total number of strings to be connected in an inverter. For this we need some inputs from the module as well as from the input. So taking the module of 3 15 watt pick and taking its VOC, VMP and IAC and IMP and this alpha represent the temperature coefficient. You, you can get this value from the data sheet. This is nothing but the change in temperature will affect the voltage of the uh, module so we have to take it this into consideration and next comes the inverter input you just need to take what is the maximum MP PPT voltage and minimum MPPT voltage and number of MPPTs inputs in uh, MPPT and maximum current per MPPT so what is the maximum allowed short circuit current that is allowable per MPPT you let's see how to calculate the maximum and the minimum number of modules to be connected in series in a particular string so we have a certain formula here for maximum it is v max equal to v o c into 1 plus alpha into t2 minus t1 see here v o c represent the open circuit voltage of the module so already i have taken it from the input and alpha we have taken it this is the coefficient of temperature and t2 and t1 it is different now so t2 represent the actual temperature we have taken it 0 degree it is the maximum actual temperature we are taking it and T1 represents the STC it is a standard test condition you can just check it with your data sheet it will be normally 25 degrees Celsius giving all the inputs and we will be getting the Vmax it is 48.9 volt going for minimum number of models to be connected in a series so we have formula of V minimum is equal to Vmp into 1 plus alpha into T2 minus T1 so VMP is the maximum voltage you will be getting it from the inverter sorry from the module and alpha remains the same and T2 and T1 here changes so T1 remains the same that is a standard test condition temperature 25 degrees Celsius and T2 we have taken is 45 degree that is the actual temperature will be in, that will be inside so we have to take the maximum of temperature that will be inside so going it for 45 degrees Celsius so solving this we will be getting a voltage of 34.1 so then going for a maximum number of modules to be connected in series we have a formula of maximum system voltage by VMP so maximum system voltage is the maximum MPPT voltage that is 1000 and Vmax we have calculated it from the formula so 49.9 so equating this we will be getting 20.43 that is 20 so we can connect maximum of 20 modules in series with this inverter so in a particular string we have, can connect maximum of 20 and going with the minimum number of modules to be connected going with taking the minimum MPPT voltage that is 520 and V minimum so we have calculated it so 34.1 so just equated we will be getting 15.2 that is 15 so minimum of 15 modules should be connected in this in series to this inverter now I taken 20 modules will be connected in series with this inverter in a particular string so going with the plant capacity of 500 kilowatt i have taken inverter capacity is 50 kilowatt so the number of inverters i have to select is 10 so nothing but the plant capacity divided by the inverter capacity so that is 10 number of inverters should be selected and going with the number of modules and the number of strings connected overall so going with the number of uh, strings we have connected eight number of strings you can just see four mppts and each MPPT has two number of inputs so the total number of MPPT is 4 into 2 is 8 so we can connect maximum of 8 inputs to the inverter so going with 20 into 8 so 20 is the modules we have connected in series so totally 160 modules will be connected in a single inverter so I have taken 10 inverters so 10 inverters in the sense overall 1600 modules will be connected in a overall plant so number of strings is 80 now we have seen the maximum and minimum number of modules to be connected in series what in case of parallel here strings so in this case we need to take about the current in MPPT so that is a maximum current per MPPT in this case we will check so take it as input uh, 1 and input 2 so each has short circuit current of 9 amps so taking it as 9 and one more is 9 amps so totally it will be having 18 amps so 18 amps will be the current that will be injected to the MPPT or MPPT so taking it is enough 50 factor of 1.5 times so that 
is 18 into 1.3 times that comes around 27. So we can connect only one number of input to a number of strings to a only one input. You cannot parallel the strings in this inverter. So if in case you have a inverter which can allow 60 amps per MPPT, so 60 amps per MPPT, you can check with this case. So you have input one as 9 plus 9 that is 18 amps and one more input 9 plus 9 it is 18 amps so totally you will be having 36 amps so going with the safety factor of 1.5 times you can avail only 54 amps in this case you can just use the Y connectors for paralleling the strings so 20 number of modules and one more 20 number of modules will be parallel so plus and plus will be parallel and minus minus will be parallel connected and it will be given to a single input so you can avail maximum of 54 amps in short circuit so our MBBT can withstand around 860 amps so you can easily connect strings in par parallel in this case so in our case we cannot connect strings in parallel because it has only 30 amps in. and going to the DC to AC overloading overloading is nothing but you can maximum connect 30% uh, overloading so what in the sense in case you have a 10 kilowatt inverter you can connect up to 13 kilowatt of DC so 13 kilowatt of DC can be connected to 10 kilowatt of inverter that is 30% overloading so as of now we have connected only 0.008% so how to calculate in the sense Calculate the DC capacity. It is nothing but total 1600 modules into 315 watt peak of the module per module. So it comes around 5 lakh 4000. And going with the AC capacity, it is 5 lakh watt. So DC to AC capacity, you will be getting the overall percentage of DC to AC overloading. So overloading is 1.0. 008 is to 1. This is the overloading ratio and phenom ratio is 1.08. Thank you.